Yeah, w- one one thing na gusto ko maging unique with Phil Basket is that um, we want to be inclusive. Ayaw namin na dito ka, dito ka lang. Bawal ka pumunta sa iba. Or may opportunity ka dun, um, babawalan ka or hindi ka namin susuportahan. I, I think for, for us, it's even uh, positive that uh, somebody from Phil Basket or talents from all over the world get to play in our league and maybe hopefully we can play in other international tournaments. So... What's up, yo? It's your boy Mikey Reyes. You already know. Hi, bro. What's up, bro? Basta, sorry, ah. Okay na ba? Oo naman. Okay lang, brother. Alam <laughs> kong sobrang bi- alam kong sobrang busy mo ngayon, pare. <laughs> Sobra. Pero, Actually, oo. Oh, hindi ko na-expect dati. Player lang tayo ngayon. Sinusulatan ko na IATF, mga senador. <laughs> oo, oh, tsaka, ano, extra ano ngayon. Um, kumbaga, mas marami kailangang gawin kasi Totoo, bro. maraming protocol na dadaanan, di ba? Yung ano, approval lang medyo mahirap dahil, Totoo. of course, uh, nasa amateur status rin lang kami. It would have been easier kung, kung pro, pero we want to give uh, the amateurs a chance talaga na makapaglaro na rin dahil, uh, actually, diba, tagal lang din makakalaro. Eh. So, well, that was gonna be one of my questions nga. If it's gonna be a pro league or an amateur league and yun nga, nasagot na na amateur league. Pero, first and foremost, bro, um, I know that I have been on, ano, um, kumbaga, lay low muna ako after the operation. Pero, from a pharma, nakikita ko na binubuo mo talaga yung field basket. I remember, nung nag-interview tayo a couple months back, na mention mo na sa akin yun, na bring up mo na, na may pinaplano ko magbuo ng bagong liga dito sa Pilipinas. And, man, it's, it's starting to, you know, create noise. It's starting to, kumbaga, it's starting to move na. And, diba, I'm so, Kuman, congratulations first and foremost pare na nasimula ninyo. Well, di pa nagsisimula to- totally like legit, pero like ito na in the works na yung pinaplano ninyo. So, congratulations man na sa sus- huling kausap kita, ano parang ano pa eh, hilaw pa eh. Ngayon parang yes. susu- naluluto na, brother. <laughs> Toto um uh, back then um hindi pa talaga ako sure. Ideas were there always naman nandoon na talaga yung ideas of of a league, what if ganito, what if ganyan. And then, actually, the yung COVID situation, uh, yeah. to be honest, gave an opportunity dahil walang basketball na nangyayari. Some team heads wanted to play again, make an effort to restart. Um, so, dun, dun talaga medyo nabuo. But medyo natulak talaga na parang, oh, parang maganda yung opportunity ngayon. Uh, but one thing is for sure, we, I didn't really expect na ganito yung reception agad ng tao and the following would be, you know, would be this fast, I guess. Um, thank you also to the people who are helping me um, w- with the league. So, yeah, parang lumalabas. Sinasabi ng may ibang tao na pati yung mga kakilala kong players na nag-message sa akin na there must be some some big corporation or, or guy backing this. But to be honest, wala talaga. So, to, um, the funding will just be coming from, from my pocket kung ano yung mga kailangan ilabas. So this is basically a startup na gusto ko lang talaga buuin for for everybody para sa atin lahat dahil it's not just the players the coaches that will be given um, um an opportunity and a platform to to make a living or a career out of of the basket but lahat talaga the content creators um businesses who want to sponsor and want to have a uh, uh, media mileage in in basketball so it's always been my dream to to create something na medyo tahitahi yung buong industriya ng basketball. So here it is. I didn't know na ito pala kahirap. De <laughs> <laughs> pero it starts with ano, with passion. Alam naman natin, guys, kung balikan niyo yung kwentuhan namin ni Jay a couple months back, kitang-kita naman talaga yung love niya for basketball. And being a basketball player, Jay, you've played in numerous leagues, man. Lahat nata ng liga na laruan mo. Uh, MPBL, PBA, ABL, UAAP, D-League, PBL, nalaroan mo na lahat. And yeah. <laughs> saan nang galing yung idea? Saan nang galing yung... Was it because dami nating oras lahat mag-isip eh, di ba? Dami nating oras magplano ng ano yung next move natin. And I feel like basketball is one of the industries na talagang affected ng, yeah. ng COVID or ng pandemic. So we were all 
lahat tayo na part ng basketball world, we were all looking for an avenue or looking for a way para magkaroon naman ng basketball. Yung mga nanunod din, yung mga fans, di ba? So, doon ba nang galing yung, yung thought na to or yung idea na to? Uh, well, first and foremost, so, talaga ang dami ko nga laruan. Meron pang may Thailand pa. TV Thailand TV pa, TV um, Once I was fortunate enough to be to have been able to play in a league in, in Australia mm. with the Singapore Slingers. Grabe yung setup, uh, beach beachfront, the court, the world class, nasa tabi ng beach talaga. So it was a, a tournament in Australia na parang um, headed by ng tourism department nila. So nag-invite ng mga CBA teams, NBL Australia teams. So of course, wala kaming games na pinanalo doon. Uh, being a uh, team from Singapore, tapos kalaban sila, PJ Ramos, Shanghai ah, Sharks, ah, ah, si Yao Ming nandun. Yao Ming. Si Jimmer nandun. Si Jimmer nandun oh, na. Wala pa yan siya. Wala pa si Jimmer. Wala pa siya nung mga time na yan. Uh, pero yeah, so nabuo talaga itong Phil Basket because of all my experiences. Gusto kong dalhin talaga dito uh, lahat ng nakita ko around the world. And yeah, to be honest, daming negatives sa COVID. Sobrang naging hirap sa atin na uh, mga nasa industriya ng sports dahil ang bilis na wala ay ng trabaho mo eh. Sobra. And wala, wala man lang chance na to learn something new or makapaghanda. Yeah. So yeah, first hand, tayong dalawa, we are affected by that. Naramdaman talaga natin. Um, so it, gusto ko talagang mag-restart para rin makapagbigay ng trabaho sa lahat ng tao. Um, so this is for everybody. Uh, um, para lang rin ano eh sa tagal ng ng tagal ko sa industriya ng basketball at nadala niya ako um in other countries gave me so many opportunities this is also one way of giving back and yep. i think business wise it's also a good opportunity oh naman so, medyo maraming tatamaan na positive so sabi ko why not <laughs> oh naman pare at the end of the day basketball pa din ang talagang hinahanap ang laki ng fan base ng basketball to sa Pilipinas naniniwala ako mas malaki lang ang women's volleyball eh pero men's basketball <laughs> malaki ang fan base ng men's basketball talagang hinahanap ngayon especially now na medyo ano kumbaga kapos kapos yung basketball na napapanood natin sa TV kasi nga on and off din yung mga nangyayari but you I think it's no secret that being able to play nga in so many leagues meron kang mga kinuhang pa isa-isa na idea from this league ito maganda tong ginawa na ligang to ito yung ligang to ito yung ligang to what would be the similarities or maybe the differences also between Phil Basket and the other leagues right now in the Philippines um, yeah correct um, this is really a culmination ng lahat na experiences yeah. ko sa UAAP ang saya nung ano nung school based support pati sa NCAA di ba ramdam na ramdam natin so that's something that I I, I want to bring to field basket and also the way na priority talaga sa kanila yung game tama ba saka na yung saka na yung sponsors saka na yung yung lahat ng iba after that so and I think dahil ginawa nila ito ng UAAP they were able to attract the top talents in the world even the guys from other countries na Pilipino they're targeting to play in the UAAP. Yeah. And I think that's uh, the benefit or of, of prioritizing the development of the game. And of course, at PBA, the top talents are there. Yeah. So that's one thing I want to uh, attract in field basket also. It may not happen in five years or 10 years because the PBA is the PBA and uh, uh, players are going to other countries already. But um, yeah, w- one one thing na gusto ko maging unique with field basket is that um, we want to be inclusive. Ayaw namin na dito ka, dito ka lang. Bawal ka pumunta sa iba. Or may opportunity ka dun, um, babawalan ka or hindi ka namin susuportahan. I, I think for, for us, it's even uh, positive that uh, somebody from Phil Basket or talents from all over the world get to play in our league and maybe hopefully we can play in other international tournaments. So, that, that, that's one thing for sure we want to make the whole basketball community more inclusive at mas magtulungan dahil at the end of the day the, it's just the fans and the players who will benefit from that dahil gusto lang uh, rin naman natin at the end of the day pag naglalaro tayo sa international competitions maybe that's one of the few things that makes everybody in the country agree on uh, pag nang pinapan natin yung gilas pag lumalaban si Senator Manny pag may Olympics Dito, we're united as one. So at the end of the day, that's the ultimate goal. And I think being able to work with other leagues is uh, is the way to go in achieving this. 
So, yun nga with with yung sinasabi mo ngayon, hindi 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 naman kailangan na competition eh. Hindi naman kailangan yeah. na nakikip- At the end of the day, man, the more leagues, the more opportunities, the more jobs you can give to not just players, coaches, ball boy, taper, mm. 'di ba? Lahat naman 'yan eh. And also media mileage like you were saying. So, it's it's evident naman na talagang you're kumbaga nagdadagdag ka ng tulong for the benefit of the whole basketball community ng ng buong Pilipinas, ng buong bansa natin. And looking at this nga na ngayon nagulat ka na talagang excited late eh, na may bagong liga, 'di ba? And by the way nga pala, I I believe ano ka din, city city based. Um for for our regular season na yeah. pinaplano namin, uh, sana mag-start na next year. Um, basically, yung mahad lang naman talaga is COVID dahil bawal pa yeah. talaga. No, I mean like yung teams mo, City. Yeah, oo. City-based. But for this one, since it's a short tournament, okay. we are welcoming um, corporate or sponsored teams also. Not necessarily na meron kang tie up with an LGU because we understand the situation right now. Medyo mahirap mag... Uh, dahil nga walang pumapasok sa offices and nobody's uh, really going to meetings. It's hard to form uh, partnerships, especially kung wala kang existing partnerships. So we will be welcoming uh, some teams na may uh, walang LGU backing but for our regular season na hopefully makapag-start next year na mahabang season talaga that that's something na gusto namin gawin na city based uh, or regional or province based and then meron mga home court so we get to bring the games to the fans uh, all over the Philippines. Oh, so parang ano, kumbaga it's a mix nga of all the leagues nga na nilaruan mo. Nakalaro ka na yeah. ng nakalaro ka ng country based, nakalaro ka ng city based in the MPBL, 'di ba? So talaga na experience man. Of course, yung home court advantage ibe. Oh, ibe yung iba. feeling eh. Kahit yung away eh, may ibang feeling na talagang mama sa challenge ka na talagang talunin yung team sa home floor nila, 'di ba? But now that you're focused on itong una muna because alam naman natin like we have no control over what's happening in the in the world yung pandemic yung mga quarantine natin yung mga ECQ wala naman tayong control doon eh. i believe ngayon it's really just focusing on the now and yung yung parating short term goal niyo is to get through this first conference or first season whatever you whatever you guys will call it pero ito sa parating na to have you have you have have you had any ties already have you talked to coverage mga may mga coverage ka na bang na ano kasi alam ko talagang gusto mo ihatid to sa lahat ng mga manood eh. so yeah, um, for sure will be uh, gusto ko talaga mapanood kahit sa ano ah, TV yeah. online so yeah i'm talking to a TV production crew already who will be basically doing the legwork yung mga behind the scenes of shooting the game and everything this is one new avenue for me na never ko talagang na experience first hand dahil syempre sa court lang tayo dati um so yeah it, it's always good to learn but yeah for sure meron na rin kaming kausap na na TV TV partner kung saan i-air yung games i just don't want to mention it right yeah. now dahil wala pa talagang na Peter man i hope everybody understands <laughs> uh so yeah we're super excited um even online Um, there are a lot of big uh, ah, me. Grabe, grabe. out there who want to partner to to uh, live stream the game. So we'll be revealing that soon. And we just want to be available to all the fans. Kung saan man niya trip manood, gusto man niya sa YouTube, gusto niya sa Facebook. Oh, importante sa ngayon ang fi- live stream, bro. Sobrang <laughs> yes, importante yes. ngayon ang live stream. Kasi hindi lahat ngayon, kumbaga hindi na access, mas accessible lang ngayon ang internet kaysa ang TV, sa totoo lang eh. Diba? Yes. So I know that's one of your top priorities. At tatawa ako kasi kahit pag-analyst tayo, darating tayo, wala naman tayo alam sa nangyayari din sa coverage. Kumbaga <laughs> magsasalita lang tayo dun, di ba? So yes. I think ito rin, it's a learning curve for, for you na pag ma- maaaral mo lahat to. And I know there are so many unanswered questions because of all the hype surrounding Phil Basket. And I know, I completely understand and to everyone watching, na hindi pa talaga pwedeng ma-disclose ni, ni Jai lahat until talagang, alam nyo naman, sa basketball, hanggat walang pirma, huwag mo muna ipagkalat, di ba? Pirmahan muna, ballpen muna. But, uh, dito sa parating na league na to, I'm sure internally na pag-usapan nyo na, How many teams? May nakita ako number of teams na goal ninyo, di ba? Parang 12? Yeah. Yeah, um, right now we're targeting 10 teams. Siguro max na talaga yung 12. Yeah. Um, because of, it will be a bubble. Full bubble talaga siya. Right now we're still targeting uh, Splendido in in Laurel, Batanga. So we're very thankful to everybody who's helping us there. Uh, especially si Vice Gong Mark Leviste who's even endorsing us. Uh, so yeah, I'd also like to share that our approval is 
on the regional level, uh, dun okay na kami. But of course, the national is a, a different um, different story and the ipit nagka-ECQ ulit. Oh. So, medyo waiting game talaga. Waiting game talaga so, right so now. So, bubble ang yeah. goal. Bubble. Yes, full bubble. So, 10 to 12 teams max na talaga yung 12. And yeah, we're looking to invite um, international teams. There's a Canadian team for sure. Pero magkakaroon sila ng Filipino pre- players. Um, ah, pasensya na na, hindi ko pa ma-disclose lahat ng teams. Dahil yung iba, hindi pa sila nakapag-decide sa team yeah. name nila. So, uh, hey, yeah. Pero but as of the, now, the teams that we launched, uh, Canada, Korean. Santa Lucia, San Juan. Davao, San Juan. Tama, yeah. di ba? Davao, yes, I, I yes, saw correct. Davao. Ano din. So, champion teams to sa MPBL. And kitang-kita dito pa lang na talagang there's no exclusivity. They can yeah. be part of Phil Basket and they can be part mm-hmm. of MPBL at the same time or even Vismin. Yeah. Diba? So, talagang ano. Yung ano bro, yung international. I think a lot of people are curious about the international teams. Ano talaga ito eh? Nung baga pupunta sila dito, magbabubble sila dito. And then they're gonna, they will need a couple of Filipino players. Um, with this team, this international team from Canada, yeah, they they will go here. The owner is um, Filipino also, uh, living in Canada. Um, his son is looking to play in the UAP, so he's, he's going to be playing in that team. And yeah, they will be bringing international flavor. Sayang nga, dahil because of COVID restrictions then and hirap mag-travel, they can't really bring the players that they want. So um, yeah, it's going to be exciting kung sino yung magiging final lineup nila. It's going to be a mix ng mga Filipino players, um, some Filipino Canadians from there, and yung mga nandito na rin talaga. So yeah, that, that's one of the things that we want to keep in our vision in the future, na humakapag-invite talaga ng international teams for our short tournament format, which which is what we are uh, trying to start right now para mas mura muna for teams dahil uh, kailangan niya bubble. <laughs> oh, tama, tama. But you you mentioned na it's not a pro league, so it's amateur. So, pwede ka maglaro. Have you that's had... one thing na, ano, na in, in discussion talaga. Do you need to get a permit or maybe makausap or ma-meet muna or approval from the UAAP and CAA? para talagang walang maging problems yung eligibility ng mga players? For this, for inviting the whole, the, yung school team talaga yung long school, it's a little bit tricky right now dahil bawal pa. Walang, basically, walang face-to-face classes. So, how can they they play as a team representing the school? Pero individually, as players, um, yeah, iba-iba kasi yung rule eh. Sa UAP, they have a rule na season 82 and uh, younger players kahit maglaro sila sa commercial leagues, the UAP will treat that as professional already. So, um, basically, yeah, the, the player needs to um, inform his mother's school kasi mother's school susulat sa UAP board. And from what I know is, they take it as a case-to-case basis. Um, pero, parang ang ayaw talaga ng UAP is for players to get paid. That, that's what their, uh, um, that's their goal. So, being we, we want to be an amateur para maka amateur league para ma, may chance maglaro itong mga amateur players. Uh, so that, that, that's the hard part right now of course with with the IATF and the restrictions yeah. because um, only pro leagues are allowed to play right now. So, but we're hoping na medyo magluwag na nga yung rules and maintindihan na the amateur players need to play because oh, it will be our future eh, in, in terms of uh, basketball and sports. So, baka mabehind eh. Mga behind yung uh, talents natin dahil ang tagal na walang ginagawa. Sobrang nababakante yung mga amateur players natin. And in my, in, this is just my personal opinion, I see amateur players working out. Alam kung atat na sila, alam kung hayok na hayok na sila maglaro. So, for me lang, parang ganun din eh. They're working out. I mean, if you can find a bubble talaga na safe at talaga susundin lahat ng protocols to the T, I mean, di ba? Why not, di ba? I mean, yeah. Yun lang naman yung saan. Personal opinion ko lang yun. But you, you mentioned it lang bro na ayaw ng UAAP na nababayaran yung players. Won't you fall under the same category as let's say D-League or PBL during our time? Di ba? Ganun naman yun. Nag-UAAP, tas nag-PBL, tas pabalik. Yeah. Bayad din naman lahat yung mga PBL players, D-League players. Isn't that the same? Kung baga, you don't fall in that same category. Pwede mo um, mag-MPBL? Ang mga... Uh, that, I think that's why the UAT uh, changed the rules. Like, season 82, season 82 and younger guys 
parang they bawal will treat na. us oh bawal yan. Pero yung mga nauna doon, pwede pa rin. Uh, so yeah, like what I said, I think they take it up as a case-to-case basis. Yeah. I think the most important thing is to be able to prove na hindi nababayaran yung players. And I think dati rin, kapag sumasali yung buong school sa D-League, sa PGA. Wala yun eh. <laughs> oo. Pa, hindi naman talaga disweldo yung mga uh, players. Tama, tama. And yeah, um, for me, the title is, you know, a basketball player, basketball player yan, tama. whether amateur or, or pro yan. And sa mga panahon ngayon, the, the priority is to really start basketball. Kung yung mga pro, kailangan nila maglaro, para mabayaran sila dahil this is their career. Um, yung amateur din, baka nga mas importante pa because these are the the guys who will be pros in the future representing our country. And yun, if they fall behind right now, it might be hard for them to catch up. Yeah, that's very, very true. How about um, ex-pros? Cause, ex-pros, yeah. Uh, we won't have any limit uh, yeah. with ex-pros. So yeah, um, yun na nga eh. Being a player myself, why why would i put restrictions in the rules kung alam ko ang daming players na gusto maglaro and everybody is the same basketball player rin and i think sa mata ng fans mas iba't iba di ba mas uh, maraming types of players na naggaling sa iba't ibang backgrounds mas masaya panoorin so ang ang dream ko talaga dito sana nga mag makapaglaban um champion ng PBA San Miguel or Ginebra versus a UP or Ateneo or a Lasal, that would be something na gusto gusto ng lahat ng tao panoorin. So being, uh, um, sinasabi talaga namin, we want to be an inclusive league. So I, I do want to, I'm making efforts already to you know, open doors and inviting all types of leagues and the teams in these leagues to be able to play in field basket. Yeah. But you brought it up. You, 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 you said na walang limit yung ex-pros. Yeah. So basically, kahit sinong galing sa PBA or MPBL, whether superstar ka o hindi, pwede kayo magsama-sama. How will you deal with the parity of the teams? Kasi alam naman natin eh, we know that parity is very, very important to keep yeah. kumbaga, to keep the competition alive. Na talagang any mm-hmm. team can win the championship at any given, in a given season. How will you make sure meron ba tayong salary cap na tinitignan or meron ba tayong draft na tinitignan para lang hindi yung mga biglang papasok. Kasi if you think about it, if wala kang draft, tapos superstar ako sa college, pwede na ako mag basket, I'm just gonna go to the team that's that's gonna pay me. Yeah. Ah, well, na. to be honest, um, whatever rules that you do, the players will still go to the team that, you know, Diba, sandali ka lang maglalaro eh. Might as well make the most out of it. You know, there's no beating around the bush with, with, when it comes to that. So, yeah. Magandang system actually yung sa Europe na actually wala silang salary cap sa mga wala lalo na sa pa. European football. Diba? That's why teams take care of talents as young as 10 years old. Dinedevelop na nila yon. So, I think yun yung isa sa mga benefits ng walang salary cap. But this is something that we will have to take up as we go along. When, kasi hindi namin alam um, how we will grow and kung saan talaga mapupunta. So, when it gets there, um, we will make rules to ensure parity. But um, one thing that I can promise is that we will keep the, the league as fair and as yeah. um, equal as possible. Uh, yun yung that that's something that's very important to us. Like I mentioned a while ago, that that's one thing na ang galing ng UAP they were able to keep the game uh, at priority. Yeah. That's why yung mga talents um, sa iba't ibang schools bubunta. Yes, meron mga nagjo champion ng paulit ulit na hindi mapigilan. Pero uh, isa lang yun bro. Isa lang yun bro. <laughs> that doesn't mean that doesn't mean na ano. That doesn't mean na walang league parity, di ba? Then, 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 then. You can't so, say na sa atin yeah. ay lahat pumupunta. You can't say that. May yes, talent yes. sa ibang schools. Talagang iba lang ngayon yung utakbo ng Ateneo. So yeah, yeah, totoo yung sinasabi mo na... I guess in terms of parity, yung gusto talaga makita ng fans is hindi bias. Tama. Yun talaga. Kung maga, so may superstars one... lahat ng team. Yeah, meron ganun. And parang the league rules aren't favoring um, some, some teams or because um, they have control of the league and everything. So, that's one thing that we can prioritize. Um, it's hard to say, baka mag, mag, mag-explain because oh, some people might misunderstand words na ano, nakipaglaban kami. <laughs> but, 
the the other leagues for us they they will always be there and we want to to be friends with them yeah. we don't want to make rules na kung maglaro ka sa ibang liga bawal ka na sa amin basically so yeah sa totoo lang mas maganda pa eh. if a team in in Phil Basket plays in another another league that would be good for Phil Basket also because the, you know that team is known to be playing in our league also and that team gets exposure in in other leagues so that's something that we want to approach differently na medyo ano eh, traditional na dito sa Philippines na kung diyan ka diyan ka lang dito ka dito ka lang so yan yung gusto namin ipakita that we can all coexist yeah eh, for for the ano for the greater benefit of the basketball community and malaking advantage yun din sa yo again because you played in all these leagues advantage yung alam mo yung effective alam mo yung medyo hindi nagiging effective so ngayon na binubuo mo pa lang yung liga i mean like you said kanina hindi mo pa naman alam where it will go ano yung rutang ititake nito pero at least na foresee mo na na ito yung mga pwedeng mangyari in the future and meron medyo True, yeah. medyo mapaplano mo na ahead para maayos yeah. mo kasi nga malay nga natin kung talaga lumaki yung field basket eh hmm. baka talaga super busy ka na pa hindi <laughs> ka na <laughs> and then, diba, diba, wala sa totoo lang wala tong field basket kung wala yung PBA wala inspiration lahat, lahat yun dun oh, sa iyo this is uh, a building block kung ano yung, yung nagawa ng mga liga so uh, para sa mga tao na, or fans na nakakita na laban-laban parate na this league versus that league Um, yun na nga yung growth I think ng basketball community and I want to um, feature that in Phil Basket that all of us can coexist and that the market is big enough for everybody and baka lalo pang palakihin yung market na in terms of everybody will benefit so uh-huh. that's something new that uh, you know, I want to do differently in terms of approach yeah at the end of the day man a lot more jobs a lot more uh, a lot more jobs for the people who can be part of the teams a lot more yeah. kumbaga, an avenue for brands or companies for media mileage but at Hopefully. the end of the day <laughs> pare, pero bro at the end of the day more basketball for everyone diba? whether it's yep. spectator ka player ka or diba, avid fan ka or even yung pag board ka lang sumunod ng basketball meron at meron tayong basketball na magkakaroon so bro grabe from player to to manager to <laughs> Diba? Ngayon, CEO. CEO ng Phil Basket, guys. Diba? Jai Reyes. Para ang bilis ng mga pangyayari. But of course... Uh, <laughs> hindi, mo pa na, hindi mo pa masyadong natatagalan yung pagka-manager mo sa Nueva Ecija. Biglang naging CEO ka na ngayon na sarili mo oh. liga, bro. <laughs> Pero diba, ganun talaga. Pagka nalibre ka, kailangan mong tumira. And oh, kataw nitong time na to. Kahit nga, hindi li- kahit nga hindi libre, titira natin. <laughs> eh, pero like, it's it just goes to show, man, na sometimes with with the pandemic and with the situation, talagang kailangan mong humanap ng paraan. Eh. And yeah. man, uh, in behalf of everyone na talagang excited na magkaroon ulit ng basketball dito sa Pilipinas, congratulations to you, man. At saka, hopefully more power to fill basket. Where, when is the, is there already a target date? I mean, I don't want you to commit. Yeah. Pero like, yung at least yung tinitignan nyo man lang. If everything goes smoothly, yun yung magiging target ng Phil Basket. We're targeting late September or first week of October. Again, these are targets. Pending, Target, targets, uh, guys, ha? Uh, huwag kayo ATF, biglang. IATF, yeah, oh. <laughs> Baka biglang so, mag-hate kayo sa Phil Basket. Eh. So, na, um, some things are not in our control. Yep. But the good thing is, ready lang tayo. Pati, nandiyan na. Um, the fans are hearing about it. Um, it's starting to grow uh, slowly but surely. Um, so yeah, maraming salamat. I guess that's also one thing na uh, I want to send a message through um, Phil Basket is that um, given the pandemic, there are a lot of things that got shut down and destroyed, but it also gives you a lot of opportunity to find something new in, or create something that uh, you know might be better than what you or what you were currently doing. So um, we want to inspire people with Phil Basket, the whole country. So yeah, um, in We want to bring top quality basketball entertainment for everybody, the fans, for you guys who are making content out there. So this is something that we can all use. So yeah, this is something for the basketball community. Oh, thank you, thank you. Exciting times ahead for Phil Basket. And please follow them on Instagram, on Facebook. Nandun sila lahat eh. Phil Basket, at Phil Basket on Instagram, if I'm not mistaken. And also Phil Basket sa Facebook. Growing, growing. The community is growing. It hasn't even started yet. So talagang kitang-kita yung dala na, kumbaga yung excitement lang na dala ng Phil Basket talaga papunta sa lahat ng fans ngayon ng basketball. So Jai, 
Alam kong busy ka, meron ka pa siguro mga sampung meeting today, <laughs> di ba? Pero good luck sa'yo, brother. Again, congratulations and I'm very, very excited personally uh, to see kung ano madadala ng field basket sa basketball dito sa Pilipinas, man. Thank you, thank you, Mikey. Oh, More pare. power to your show and hopefully... Um, We get to see you a lot in film basket. Malay oh, mo. Oh, pari. May mga... May mga <laughs> hindi, may mga nagtatanong ako magko-cover o film basket. Sabi ko, pag tinanong yeah. ako ni Chai, bakit hindi? Pero ito na tayo, Brad. Huwag na tayo dun sa... Huwag <laughs> na tayo <laughs> maglaro, <laughs> pari. Oh, malay mo, ano, you can do an exclusive film basket coverage in your channel. Diba? Oh, like man. Man, I'm, I'm very, very excited for you, yeah. bro. Ah. Saka good luck. And yeah, good luck and congratulations again, Jai. Ah. Ingat, ah. Thank, Thank you for your time, mo, ah. Alam kong madami kang ginagawa ngayon. Ingat ka, bro, ah. Good luck, good luck right. sa inyo, good luck sa inyo. Thanks, Mikey.